Hello again, welcome back. Today we're talking about a four-story window and that apartment complex that you just saw, the opening image there, was the housing project that I grew up in. It was a uh, mixed, mostly um, Hispanic, that is uh, Puerto Rican and Cuban specifically, a lot of Russians, a lot of elderly people and we lived in in that complex and we lived on the third floor which from the back end of the building was four stories up it was three it was four floors in the front but five in the back because the alley was depressed and there was a basement and we lived on the third floor in the back which meant that our view was a row of windows because you, as you could probably tell that alley is about 20 feet across to the next set of buildings so when you looked out of the windows you saw more windows and an alley or you saw a courtyard as you can see there's depressions in the middle of those buildings and those are courtyards the dirty smelly loud courtyards you could hear everybody you could smell everything and there was tons and tons of pigeons all the time in there and it, it smelled pretty bad there was always a, a mountain of dead pigeons down on the bottom of the courtyard I guess they used to poison them or something to try to get rid of them so we lived on the third floor in the back now in the summertime it gets really hot in Boston and that's in Alston, by the way, which is an annex of Boston. But it, it gets really hot in the summer, hotter than you would think. You know, if you're in the Midwest or something and you think it's hot, it's, this, it's just as bad down on the East Coast. But because of the concrete, everything is cement and concrete and asphalt and brick. The temperature doesn't go away at night. It stays hot all the time. If it's, uh, if it's 100 degrees outside during the day, it's probably going to be that hot at night. And growing up in the early 70s when an air conditioner was an extreme luxury item, you couldn't just go out to Walmart in the summer and buy an air conditioner for 100 bucks. It didn't happen. Air conditioners were huge and heavy and they cost a lot. So people didn't have them and apartments weren't built with air conditioning installed that didn't happen either. It's an old building. It, it may not look it in that picture. It looks to me actually, because uh, that, that's a recent aerial shot from a drone or something, like Google Maps. Looks to me like the building's been restored, because when I was there it was pretty run down. But it gets really hot in the summertime, and the windows were the old style wood frame windows with the lead counterweights if you're old enough to remember that when they the windows had like pulleys on the sides and it had a, a rope it was about a quarter inch thick rope with like a 20 pound lead weight on each side to counterbalance the weight of the window and opening and closing them was hard because it would have to shimmy up and down it, it didn't fit properly and the window would always either slam shut or it would get stuck open <laughs> you, you had Two choices so it, it was like I said it was hot in the summer and we had this uh, these crappy lead counterweight windows and so the window was jammed open no screens house was always full of flies and it was hot and I had to have been about god maybe three it's hard to remember because you know you don't have a concept of time when you're very young maybe three years old and it's like one of my earliest childhood memories of climbing out of that window I climb out of the window on the outside of the window and sit on the ledge on the outside of the window with the with the window literally behind me I am all the way outside on the on the little concrete ledge where like your flower box would go and I have, uh, I have another image of the back alley to give you an idea 
of where I was because they, they had a, a back alley view there and I've put a little black arrow and it shows you the exact window that I was I was sitting on right so there I am four stories up maybe three years old maybe four somewhere in there sitting on the outside edge of a window leaning down and I remember this very vividly. I can actually, I can actually picture this even now. I'm in my underwear, sitting on this ledge, just looking down. I can see my knees, my feet, and the asphalt down below because the alleyway is completely paved. It's like a road. And I don't know how long I was out there. And I hear somebody yelling and it's across the alley another window on the same level as me so this guy's also on the third floor off to my right I believe Hispanic man uh, screaming at me to get back in say like, hey Jew kid you get back in that window right now get back in I could still hear him <laughs> yelling at me to get back in the window and I'm looking at him and turned around and crawled back through the window then he starts screaming at me to shut the window which I tried to do. Uh, I don't remember if I successfully closed it all the way. I don't think I did. I think it was still gapped to a point. And I didn't hear anything else about it. I guess he figured he had done his good deed for the day by basically saving me because anything could have happened. But he didn't call the police or anything like that. You know, you would think that in that sort of situation, someone would call the police and say, hey, I think there's a kid over across the... Uh, across the alley from me probably not being watched he was literally hanging out of the window uh, somebody might want to check there, there was no nobody came by I don't think my mother ever even knew about it she she was in one of her uh, drug induced comas at the time so she was asleep all day and I just did whatever and that's one of the things that I did and I, I think about it sometimes and it's probably why the image is so vivid the reason I think about it is because literally my earliest childhood memory is a near-death experience because I'm a gust of wind um, me getting distracted even that guy yelling at me could have distracted me enough that I could have slipped and from that distance down to uh, to asphalt I probably wouldn't have survived it and I wouldn't be here now and it's just, uh, it's really interesting to think about how, uh, how close you could come over something as silly as the fact that there was no screen in the window or that I just wasn't even being watched at all. I wasn't being monitored. My mother was always unconscious. Something to think about.